What's up guys, in this video we are unboxing Ubiquiti's Unify Dream Wall. It's a wall-mounted Unify cloud gateway with built-in Wi-Fi 6, built-in PoE switch, and support for all of Unify's applications including network, access, protect, and more. So let's get right into it. The first thing you'll notice right away is that this is probably Ubiquiti's largest and heaviest product yet. When you open the box, the Dream Wall is nicely packaged with the mounting bracket behind it and a little compartment for the power cable and mounting screws. To access the power, RJ45 and SFP ports, you'll need to remove the front cover. In one area, you'll find your WAN RJ45 and SFP ports, an RJ45 LAN port and power connector. On the top of the UDW, you'll find one LAN SFP port, four non-POE, four POE, four POE plus, and four POE plus plus RJ45 ports for a grand total of 16 RJ45 ports and one SFP. On the side of the UDW, you'll find space for two power redundancy modules. It came with one pre-installed and I bought a second. To install it, you just pop off the cover panel and slide the PSU in. Now we're ready to fire it up. For this demo, I'm going to plug it into my existing office network. The power port has a small cover panel, which you'll need to unlock and remove. And once you plug the power cable in, don't forget to lock it in place. This cable raceway also helps to keep the cables neatly managed. There's a small touchscreen display on the outside of the UDW that shows you the status of the device. Once on, it will initialize, then let you know when it's ready to set up. For the sake of keeping things simple, I'll use the Unify Network mobile app for this setup process. When the dream wall pops up in the app, tap Setup, then it'll ask you to name your dream wall. I'm using this dream wall for a mobile rack that I'll be using at construction sites, so I named it accordingly. Then create a Wi-Fi SSID and password. Next, it'll test your internet's speed. Once that's done, the UDW will complete some final steps, then it will begin updating the dream wall's firmware. Once updated, the app will prompt you to join the Wi-Fi network that you just created, then it will take you into the controller as you'd see it with any other controller so that you can configure your network in detail. Once your UDW is set up, you can wall mount it. And lastly, the built-in touchscreen shows some basic information about the UDW, allows you to run a speed test, and change some basic device settings. So that's it guys. If you need help or have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.